Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Yeah, let's try it. Gigantha is our companion. And then uh, Nivmizits. So we've got Nivmizit Reborn. We've got Gigantha. I'm guessing this is a Fires of Invention deck, which we can also play with Gigantha. And then take it from here. So we want a bunch of the guilds cards to round out the deck. I guess in Osirius we've got Teferi. Oh, never mind, we can play Time Wipe with Gigantha. In Black White we've got like the Spark, Mortify. Maybe like two Mortifies to deal with enchantments. Both of Gaia if we have more Planeswalkers, but I don't think we'll end up with a lot of them. Elite Guard Mage could also be okay. Could always play Thought Erasure. Can we play this with Gigantha? Yes, we can. That's also an option. That's kind of some early card filtering. Uh, Deafening Clarion in Boros. So maybe Discovery. Anything in Is It worth playing? Probably don't want counter spells if we're going to play Fires. Channeled Force to like discard additional copies of Fires of Invention, but it's not a great card. Maybe a couple Royal Science to discard extra Fires and maybe pump up niv -Mizzet. Doesn't seem super needed. Don't hate the idea of a couple Rampages. Yeah, the uh, Gigantha restrictions kind of tricky. Some of the cards we would usually include we can't play. Can't play Casualties of War. I guess for Mana Vraska. Yeah, once we get to Boros, we're definitely playing Clarion. Anything in Gruul. There's nothing that I really want in Gruul. In Boros we have Deafening Clarion, probably as a 4 off. Could also play Justice Strike as more spot removal. But we would like to ideally spread out the mana costs or the the guilds so we have a better hit rate with niv -Mizzet when we play him. In Selesnya we could play Knight of Autumn as just a good versatile answer. Could also play Trostani to help against agents, but we're not really a tokens deck. I guess we could play Neoform as well, and then play a couple 4-mana creatures like the Elite Guard Mage to sacrifice. Yeah, I could see that. And Neoform plus Knight of Autumn is also kind of cool. I guess we also want Gross Spiral. Hmm, so maybe the Neoform's not needed. Kiora is also a card I quite like, but maybe also doesn't seem necessary if we're going to play the Fires version. Could play Uro as well. It's possible we don't even need Fires, but it does seem pretty fitting here. Can play like two Uros and then just got the Neoforms. So yeah, if we go guild by guilds, this is how I like to look at my uh, niv decks is to just lay it out per guilds. We've got six Simic cards, six Boros, two Rakdos, four Selesnya, four Azurius, two Orzov, two Golgari, four Dimir. So a bit too much in the Simic and Boros camp, perhaps. But of course the cards we include we still want to actually cast, so it's not like I'm gonna add a Gruul card just to have a Gruul card if it's not actually good in the deck. And I'm kind of struggling to find a good Gruul card that we can play with Gigantha's companion. Cinder Vines, maybe, but it's also pretty underwhelming. I don't think we need Escape since we kind of have niv -Mizzet as our giant card draw engine, so Escape seems a bit overkill, but 
Escape is definitely a good card. Just doesn't seem great in this deck where we have the restriction of Fires of Invention and don't have a lot of cheap cards. Can't play the Worm because it's double green. Spellbreaker's kind of mediocre in this deck. Probably don't have enough creatures for Domri's Ambush. Three mana Domri, maybe. It's not the best synergy with Fires of Invention in the sense that Ramp that's not land based doesn't help too much with fires. And the plus one plus zero to the team is also not the most useful ability. So don't think it's necessary. Yeah, it does make Nif uncounterable, but it's not too many counter spells in standard right now. In Golgari, I guess we could play Garruk at six. But don't have too much synergy with it. I don't actually hate the idea of back for more getting back in Nif Mizzets. Kinda relies on having Nif in the first place go to to the graveyard. But that is potentially pretty cool. And Ragdos, there's also not too much. Can play Badak. Can play Bedevil. Could play Croxa, but doesn't seem great here. And then we also didn't have any Izzet cards. Maybe Beacon Bolt, but we're a bit light on Incense and Sorceries for that. Five mana Ashok could be okay, but we have both Gigantha and Niv at five, so we've got plenty of fives already. A Golos could be kind of sweet. Can't hit it with... Um, Niv, but it's another powerful individual threat that can also fix our mana, and we can definitely use the ability in this deck. It's definitely a card I've played before. It's got a good synergy with Fires of Invention. So I don't hate the idea of like two Golos, even though it's another five. One Ethereal Absolution, yeah, could do that. It's good against uh, Cat Oven decks. Gives us a bit of graveyard hate. Is there anything that's amazing against cycling that we can play? I guess we could play Kaya. That's a card someone recently mentioned that could be quite good against uh, cycling decks as it exiles Flourishing Fox and exiles Epoint's Graveyard. We can play 3 mana Ashok because of Gigantha. Yeah, I like the idea of at least one Kaya, if not more. This is already 64 cards, so even need to make a couple cuts. I don't have to play Discovery Dispersal. I really want all my cards to be guild cards, so I'm not going to include any monocolored cards outside of Fires. Yeah, we only have Deafening Clarion as our sweeper, which in some matchups isn't enough. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Can't play Time Wipe, can't play Storm's Wrath, can't play... I guess we can play Solar Blaze. Maybe have a split of Deafening Clarion and Solar Blaze. So, <laughs> Solar Blaze is not a companion. <laughs> uh, oh, Arena, you never fail to amuse me. All right, so we've got six Simic cards, six Boros cards, two Ragdos, four Slasnia. Maybe for Night of Autumn is a bit much, we'll go down to two. Four Azorius, four Orzov, two Golgari, four Demir. And I need to make at least two cuts. All right, so let's sort by actual curve. And then of course our companion at five as well. So let's see, we've got 12 two drops, we've got 10, 12, 13, 3 drops, 8, 4 drops, 4, 5s, and a 6. I could shave a couple discoveries, maybe go down to 2. It is still nice that we can cast Dispersal every now and then, good synergy with uh, Fires of Invention as well. But it's not strictly necessary. I like most of the 3s. Yeah, we could also play Thought Erasure. The problem is the mana, like how reliably can we have blue-black on turn two? 
at least discovery we can cast with any blue or black land. Like Rampage and Justice Strike we're not going to cast on turn 2 very often. And then we got to figure out a mana base. Probably involves Fable Passage. The Triomes also make things tricky. Haven't built a 5 color mana base with uh, Trilands. But yeah, I imagine we've got 4 Passage and then 1 of each basic. Because we do have some colors we need more than others early on. Like blue-green for Grow Spiral. So we've got one of each basic. I guess we can start with one of each Shocklands. And take it from there. And then we could play one of each Triome. And those are the tap lands. And that's 60. So we've got four Fable Passage. Four, four, five triomes. So, a couple tap lands there. One of each basic as painless on tap lands, and then one of each shock lands. I mean, could work. Don't have any one drops, so playing a tap triome on turn one is fine. Gives us something to cycle later. Good synergy with uh, Fires of Invention, too, since we can spend our mana on cycling and it doesn't count as casting a spell. Singleton mana base except for the four Fable Passage. Seems okay. And then how much blue-green do I have for the turn two spiral? So I have seven lands that don't contribute in any meaningful way towards Grow Spiral, if I didn't uh, miscount. So that means we have 17 lands that do, which seems enough. With Uro and Gross Spiral, we would definitely wouldn't mind like 25, 26 lands. But then of course we need to make some cuts. So what do we cut, if anything? Maybe shave one to Fairy. Shave a Rampage or a Justice Strike. I like Justice Strike being able to kill Winota at instant speed. Shave one Rampage. I can add two more lands to the deck. Presumably they want to be blue and green. So I could add an extra breeding pool, could add some extra basics. Vraska's not amazing, but it also gives us a way to sacrifice the Fires of Invention if we don't want it in play anymore. And it's just nice to have other impactful 4-mana plays we can make in the same turn as Fires of Invention. Dovin's Veto is a bit of a nombo with Fires of Invention, so I don't think we want any counter spells. Because, yeah, having too many basics can also be a bad thing when we need to cast Niv. So it's much better to have more dual lands. Alright, we were also talking about Golos a minute ago. Right, I want to sneak one Golos into the deck. At least. So I need to make a couple more cuts. Let's go with one Mortify. I would like to add another Golos, but we also have Gigantha as a companion, which is maybe a bit overkill. Let's try one Golos, and if Golos overperforms, we'll add another one. It is mainly appealing because of uh, Fires giving us an activated ability, and that way we still get to use our mana. Because, yeah, we don't have any castles in this deck to use our mana on, so we're limited to, like, cycling some of our lands, or using... Uh, I guess Golos and Ethereal Absolution as mana sinks. Yeah, it seems tricky to fit in castles since we have so many different lands. But maybe it's worth it to add a Castle Ventress. It does require two other blue sources. And we do have Golos that can search it up, so maybe one castle is actually fine. And then... What's my last land? Maybe an extra breeding pool. It is nice to have all these one-offs in the mana base, not gonna lie. Because, yeah, like, if you look at the color distribution, I guess it's kind of even. Kind of surprised by that. Thought there would be more emphasis on some of the color combinations, so... It's a pretty balanced deck in terms of colors, which is nice. That makes all the one-off mana base even better. But, yeah, we do want to cast Spiral on two. We'll do one more Breeding Pool.
So I want to get an island. Well, for points playing counter spells, this could be a tough matchup. So this is Abzan, this is Teemer. Uh, let's go with Teemer so we can maybe play Fires next turn. Alright, so if we play Fires, probably gets countered. If I play Teferi, probably gets countered. Do I have the mana to play Niv next turn here to just hard casts? Blue, black, green, white, red, we do. Let's go fires. And then if it somehow resolves, we can still play the fairy. And then next turn just hard cast Niv. Or I could try to play around Quench and play Teferi with two mana up. Alright, fine. So plussing wouldn't really work since I can just kill it, so I guess we'll bounce an octopus here. Could have maybe fetched before drawing. Although, if I try to get rid of the Sailor, they can just mutate Octopus onto it, so... Probably just have to jam Niv. Could go for Vraska, but that's my only play. But it does play around Quench if we shock ourselves. That's still probably Niv. And then getting Mountain should work. Yeah, so they did have the Quench last turn when we played the Fairy. I think we're dead now. Do they have, like, Mantle or some other way to protect? They don't. Still very far behind, not resolving the Nif meant no card advantage.
Deafening Clarion would have been nice. Just a strike. They haven't maybe had the chance to use their essence captures yet. And there it is. All right. Brazen Borrower casts. All right, opponent got greedy and kept uh, Octopus, so now actually don't die yet. Unless I have another Sailor. Unsummon. Sure. So I'm not dead yet. So I can kill the octopus, but they just flash into creatures and I'm dead. So I have to draw with Vraska and hope to, I don't know, find the fairy into something else. Kaya can potentially gain a bit of life. I mean, there's no chance Niv resolves. But I guess I'll go for it. And I guess I would still be dead on boards. Didn't think there's any one mana. Right, not a Brazen Borer. Let's see how many cards we can hit with Niv here. Uh, not bad. Just a strike. Alright, GG's. Yeah, this seems like a tough matchup if we can't get a Teferi to stick. The enchantment deck, well, Knight of Autumn seems decent here. All right, decisions, decisions. Don't hate Knight of Autumn just blowing up the Season of Growth right away. Could the Fairy bounce Envoy, but then next turn I get to go Envoy plus play something to enchant it, maybe. Draw cards. Let's just deal with this Season. One strategy against the enchantment deck is just to kind of keep them off creatures. But that's pretty risky when they have a season of growth in play which can pull them pretty far ahead. And now the Stefan and Clarion's looking good. Could have also waited un until my turn to fetch.
didn't have Niv miss it, but we had a couple plays lined up still, Discovery to maybe find Niv. Kahira. So this is probably like a elemental deck or the Gruul Fires of Invention deck, in which case Knight of Autumn would be nice. Hmm, two lands on the play. We are playing 26 lands. If I draw blue or white, I get to play Teferi. Any land lets me play Mortify. Green lets me play Knight. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Alright, not the land I was hoping for, but I'll take it. And then what do we want to fetch up here? Opponent appears to be... maybe mono green. If I get four I can play knights. And Uro. Won't be able to play Teferi. Won't necessarily be able to Solar Blaze. Probably still Forest though. Alright. So now we should have pretty good mana. Next turn, maybe go Fires plus Blaze, stabilize nicely. The fairy bounce fertile it up to draw land. Let's slow this down. I've got it. And now we just gotta find enough mizzets. So I can cast my Justice Strike here, can cast Blaze, won't necessarily be able to cast Vraska, but we can with the Fires, so sure. Now if I play Triumph first, I won't be able to strike on two, but it looks like Solar Blaze will be enough to clean things up, and if we do draw a Gross Spiral, I will want to simply. That's a pretty good draw. But I do need to shock myself. All right then. Do I want a Clarion or a Solar Blaze? I might actually want a Solar Blaze because Clarion can maybe gain me life later. Opponents on the burn plan. 
We really want to draw lands. Yeah, Vraska's not really going to work the way I want to. I could play Vraska and then sack the fires. But then, of course, we lose fires. Or I could just Teferi minus. Probably Teferi minus. I think I do sack the fires here. If I draw an untap land, I can still make a play this turn. Could also sack the fairy, but then I wouldn't be able to play anything else this turn. And I think it's important for me to make a play this turn, and my mana should be pretty good. Not the land I hoped for, but so it goes. So now I can actually still just a strike. Alright, center point concedes. Well, this turn we were going to be able to play Niv. And next turn have a million cards and definitely clear to gain life. With Vraska gaining a bit of life too. No green, no white. That's probably Mulgan. Goes to show that the basic lands, while it's nice to have untapped lands that don't cost life, are kind of awkward in our opening hand sometimes. Alright, this I can keep. Probably bottom absolution. Probably team a reclamation deck if I had to guess. Themer Adventures instead. Double Clover. That is scary. So I could the fairy bounce one of them to slow them down a little bit maybe. Or I can go Uro into just a strike. Let's go with the fairy. And then probably get swamped then. By bouncing the clover, they can't go crazy with uh, beanstalk giants. Need to find a Nif. Playing Gigantha is not going to be enough here. At least the Fable Passages are doing a good job at filling the graveyard.
triple stomp, sure. That's what we wanted to see. Don't have to clear in here. Only taking three after all. I'll wait. Can maybe gain a bit of life with it or kill the bone crusher. A Golos, pretty nice too with the fires. All right, we've got options. Starting with Niv, never a bad idea. Or I can go fires into Niv. Yeah, let's go fires into Niv. All right, there's our ethereal absolution. Back in hands. Right, so they're gonna get to bounce. Fires a if. But because they had two clovers, they do lose the creature half of the adventure. And what to discard? All these cards are so good. Vraska can blow up Clover. So next turn I might go Vraska plus Deafening Clarion. Don't think I need Solar Blaze. And probably don't have time to cast Uro. Can just get it back from the graveyards. This makes reds. It's time to step out of the shadows. I won't forgive this. Absolution's pretty nice against Brazen Borrower 2 in particular. 7, 8 mana available. Can I escape an Uro? I might be able to. So that could be an option. And then I can still play Fires or play Teferi. How do we lose from here? Probably our opponent drawing like Escape to the Wilds and going off, but there's not much I can do about that. Do I have enough blue mana? I guess I don't have enough blue mana to... to escape Uro and play the fairy here. It's a little awkward. Well, that's a good way of filling the graveyard for Uro for next turn, I guess. The end justify the means. Uh, don't think I need to bounce anything or sack anything. Discard three cards. Kaya, Gross Barrel, Gross Barrel. Let's blow up some uh, Lucky Clovers. So I can go this. I need to draw land to be able to Vraska and Angras Rampage.
but I don't mind starting here. The wrong land. Your demise won't be cool. Don't be surprised if we meet again. And then we'll have to discard to hand size a little bit. Discovery and Probably don't need fires anymore at this point, even though it's kind of nice with Golos. Alright, opponent packs it up. Yeah, Niv provided quite a bit of card advantage this game. Alright, I mean, the deck seems to be working out pretty well. Are there any changes I would make? I'm sure the mana base is probably not perfect, but it seemed functional enough. Didn't really face any cycling decks where Kaya is at its best. The Absolution could be too cute, but yeah, overall. Deck seemed okay. You can also see an argument for Cutting the fires of invention altogether. It's definitely not a an essential part of the deck since the mana seemed functional even without it. So we don't need to rely on fires to be able to cast our spells, but it does give the deck a powerful mid game. And then we have both Vraska and the fairy as ways of easily getting rid of our own fires of invention if we no longer want it in play. And then it's potentially pretty nice with Golos as a mana sink can also use Knight to blow it up, so we've got a few ways of dealing with it. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.